There's a lot of mysteries in the game. Who are the warden? What's their agenda? How did you end up in the complex? What was the complex originally built for? Where do the monsters come from? And can you escape? TFO you play as one of four scavengers trapped inside this underground complex. You're held there against your will by some entity called the Warden. You're forced down into the complex every day to carry out different objectives and um, you get to keep what you can scavenge from down there that the Warden aren't interested in. The story is not going to be told through a traditional story campaign mode, but rather through the free continuous updates of the game uh, post-release. The four characters in GTFO is this uh, sort of ragtag team of non-military game characters. A lot of the equipment is repurposed mining gear. They don't have the best weapons, they're not a special unit. We've created games before where the game characters are talking and bantering between one another. But for GTFO we really want to take that to the next level so we have created this uh, proprietary um, system that can have the characters say different things and uh, uh, it'll sort of adapt to the uh, current situation and the uh, conditions of the current gameplay session. Do not move. Of course, all this work going into the, uh, the systems would be a waste of time in, in if the dialogue wasn't excellent. So we hired a professional uh, writer to help us out, Adam Gascoigne. Uh, is writing dialogue for the game and uh, he's been involved in some fantastic titles. These are characters, after all, that you as a player are going to spend a lot of time with and it's important that there's things to take from, things to build the relationship on between the characters and between you as a player and the characters. My name is Ronan Summers. I play Hackett in GTFO. He's an Irish character and Despite being a cynic and a pessimist and all that stuff, he's also the uh, kind of guy that's not going to let you down. He's a fun guy to play, and I think Adam, the writer, got, got it bang on with the character, and I feel like the character is really well written. It can be hard sometimes with, with action-y games to find those little character nuggets and really get that side of a three-dimensional human to come through. But I think GTFO has spent a lot of time on making sure that these characters are well designed, and that definitely makes it easier to play as well. Many games these days that I work on tend to have some level of choice or variation in the dialogue, but very few have quite the level of distinction in the way that the same piece of information can be delivered to a player over and over and over again in so many different ways with so many different permutations, whether they're shouted or whispered or something in between, and um, depending on you know context and situation. It's pretty phenomenal. I think all that work is really going to pay off when the game comes out and, and the, the players get their hands on it. Fans are in for a treat in terms of just uh, the dialogue system and the work that's gone into it. I, I think it's going to lead to some real replayability for people to just hammer at this thing for 100 hours on end. <laughs>